I think it is ideologically incoherent. And this is why I think where the impossible people come from, like this is not possible, which is to say that if you, you know, know the text, if you, you know Islam, you know that it's not very, it's not tolerant at all of innovation, what it calls innovation. That's like a dirty word within the faith. To the extent that you can have reform, you can only reinterpret existing texts and try to be very creative in how you go about interpreting them. And depending on the issue, you can get, you can make somewhat, you know, some degree of progress. Or if the language is very clear and very direct, it's very hard to make progress. In my opinion, this is a, even if successful, which I highly doubt that it can be successful, even if it is successful, you are still held back by this, you know, seventh century ideology. You always have to justify modern day uh, ethics and, and human rights considerations using these texts that could not have ever imagined where our uh, modern conception of ethics is. They, they could be, you know, they could never, it's like a different planet when you, when you look at, you know, different texts from way back then. I feel like that that's a limit on the discourse that's always going to pull in one direction, and that direction is towards this conservative 7th century, again, you know, uh, mindset. So I, I, even if even if it is, it can make some modest gains. I still think it is not preferable to getting people to doubt the faith.